Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie with the Phillips Berkeley Public Library and I'm here to walk you through our April Take and Make craft. Um, I wanted to tie in two themes with this month's craft. So April is when all the cherry blossoms start to bloom um, and also later on this month on April 22nd is Earth Day. So I wanted to do something that would celebrate the blooming of the cherry blossoms um, and also do something that was a little bit environmentally friendly and reuse something that would otherwise go right in the trash. So we're going to be doing soda bottle, bottle cherry blossom art this month. Um, if you pick up our, our take and make kit, that kit will include a piece of poster board, an empty soda bottle, a little bowl, a foam brush, and then two colors of paint, black and pink. Now, if you're doing this project at home, you're probably gonna wanna just put your poster board on a table. Um, I couldn't really figure out a great way to, to film this and show you everything I needed to show while it was still on the table, so I put it up on the wall here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see very well, but what I've done is I've already traced the, um, or not traced, but I've already drawn with pencil my branch for my cher cherry blossom. So you might want to do that, you might want to just do it freehand, it's up to you. Uh, but the first step in all of this, you're going to open up your little container of black paint right here, and then you want to paint your cherry blossom uh, branches. So I'm just gonna paint this on here. You don't wanna do too much. Um, you wanna be able to make adjustments if necessary. So I'm gonna start out with just a little bit of paint. I'm not a fabulous artist here. Um, I don't know if any of you may have seen our Maker's Day video from in March, uh, but one of the things that Christina talked about is that, you know what, everyone's a beginner at something and you're not always gonna be great at something right off the bat. And the whole point of these is to just have fun um, and maybe try something new. Okay, so once you painted your branches here and you're satisfied with those, uh, I'd recommend letting that black paint dry completely before you proceed with the next step in this project because you don't want to be smearing the wet back black paint into your pink paint for the cherry blossom petals. So give that a, a little while, let it dry completely before proceeding to the next step. Okay, once you have allowed your black paint for your branches of your cherry blossoms to dry, your next step is to take this pink paint that we have provided and pour it into your bowl. Okay, and you don't want to do too much right off the bat because you don't want to be putting giant globs of pink paint on here. So start with a little bit kind of let it spread out. You might even need to use your soda bottle here to sort of help it spread. Okay, and it's basically going to work like a stamp. So you just put it in here on top of your pink paint, and then you're going to stamp it on the paper wherever you want your cherry blossom petals to go. All right, so do some here and lift it up slowly. You don't wanna let that paint splatter too much. Here. 
and make sure that it stays where the petals are supposed to be. And it's really up to you, your own personal preference as far as how many flowers you wanna put on this print. It can be a whole lot, it can be a little bit more, more sparing, but you can just take your time and, uh, and just make it to your own personal taste. And if you start running out of your pink paint here from the first pour, you can always just add a little bit more. But let's see. All right, looking pretty good so far. And the great thing about this paint that we've provided, this is just acrylic paint. And if you, uh, if you don't let it dry before you go rinse your soda bottle, it'll rinse right off. So then you'll be able to toss it right in the recycling. You'll still be environmentally friendly with this, this project. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I think I'm done with mine. And of course, the final step in this project is to hang your artwork on the wall to enjoy. If you're particularly impressed with, uh, with your art for this month, you can of course frame it as well. Um, so thank you so much for joining us for this month's Take and Make Craft video. If you completed this craft at home, I would love to see how it turned out. So please feel free to tag Phillipsburg Library in social media posts. We are Peaberg Library on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can also email a picture of your finished product, project to info at peaberglive.org. Um, so stay tuned. We'll have more Take and Make videos coming up. Um, and until then, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your month. And